your comfort zone. Well, let's talk about your comfort zone. That's anything but comfortable. As a matter of fact, your comfort zone is a prison for you. It not only doesn't let you feel good, it actually imprisons you. What am I talking about? I'm making that really clear for you right now. Very, very many years ago, I did a weekend self-development program, and the name of the teacher instructor was Tim Shear. And he explained that your comfort zone not only isn't a comfortable place to be, it's actually a no zone. A N O W, a no zone. Stop and think about it. What you're calling your comfort zone is the steps that you know how to do. In fact, I bet there's a long list of steps that you know you could be taking, you should be taking, but you're not. Those are the steps in your comfort zone. So what I realized the other day is I'm afraid to step out of my comfort zone for a really important part of my life. I never realized that. I was actually being imprisoned. That's where I got the concept I'm sharing with you today by what I know and I'm not doing. And why am I not doing? Because I'm afraid to do it for no good reason. And you have no good reason why you're staying stuck in your comfort zone. So I have a suggestion for you to get started. One thing you really need to do is take a step. You got to take action. You got to take a step. You can't think about it. You can't mull it over. You got to take action. You got to take a step in a new direction. Someplace you haven't been before, something you haven't done before, you know it's a really helpful thing for you to do. You know it's going to change some aspect of your life when you go in that new direction. So why aren't you doing it? Well, because staying where you know doesn't feel threatening to you. Staying where you know is something you expect and your expectations are fruitful for you. They're exactly what you're anticipating. Expectations destroy your dreams. Expectations keep you stuck. In fact, to get you started, if you haven't already done so, go down in the show notes for the link and grab my very quick, it's a very, very short, very short read. Step in a new direction because that's what's going to take you in the new direction. You can't keep going step, step, step the way you're going to your expected result. You got to step in a new direction. You got to take an action you've been afraid to take. You need to take a new action you've never taken before to have an outcome you've never taken or never gotten before. In fact, here's the basic part. If you want to have something you've never had before, first step, choose to become someone you've never been before. Choose to be someone you've never been before who thinks thoughts you've never thought before. You never entertain those thoughts as part of your reality. So you're someone you've never been who thinks thoughts you've never thought, which leads you to take actions you've never taken before. And that moves you someplace to a result you never 
reached before, couldn't manifest before, because you weren't taking the steps that would get you there. So here's the aspect that's been missing. When you're looking to take an action, to go in a way, a direction, a new path you've never done before, you're not going to do it unless you want to. <laughs> you're not going to do anything you don't want to do. What does that mean? It means you're going to stay in that uncomfortable no zone, in that uncomfortable comfort zone because you don't want to step into the unknown. Well, what I am offering you this week instead of somebody else's book is the very first book that I took online. It's called What You Don't Know, You Don't Know. How your brain and your mind keep you stuck because that's why you're stuck in your comfort zone, in your no zone. And this very special offer I have for you is not just the digital book, which, by the way, was a bestseller for 15 whole months. And I made an audio of the book, and it's available to you at a really special price. You have to be a little bit off kilter <laughs> to not take advantage of this, and you'll see that link in the show notes. What benefit are you getting by staying stuck? Because you wouldn't do it if you weren't getting some kind of benefit. When I had a really bad brain injury, oh, 28 years ago, and I was in a support group, and I figured out what to do so I could get better. And I went into the group and I said, I took this action and guess what? I'm functioning well again. And I'll tell you exactly what it is. Not one person, not one person in that support group took me up on my offer. Why? When you have a brain injury, you have one heck of an excuse to get out of doing anything and everything you don't want to do. And that's why I say, you're not going to step in a new direction. You're not going to get out of your comfortable zone because you think somehow you have things screwed up. I call it a mishmash up in your head, in your mind, which isn't really making any sense, which isn't really supporting you, which isn't really allowing you your freedom to be who you can be, and who in your heart of hearts you want to be. So we're going out from your ego mind that's telling you, no, 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 don't listen to her. We don't want to make any changes. Because changes can mean the end of that ego mind. Because changes will take you someplace you've never been before. Because changes spell the end of your way of life that you've been living for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. That's what changes will do. So, yeah, your ego mind wants everything to stay the same, to stay in control. It's scared. And you know what? For me, I'm somebody who jumps in to change. For me, the thought of staying the same, that's terrifying to me. I could not stay the same. You tell me something new that I've never done, and I'll jump into it. Because I don't want to keep repeating the same routines day after day after year after year. How's my life going to benefit me if I stay locked in a box. Did you ever hear the expression to get out of the box and live your life in a new way? You got to follow the directions. The problem is those directions run outside of the box. 
In other words, you got to get outside that box. You got to move out of your comfort zone, out of your no zone, out of the box where you've been staying all safe. Don't tell anybody that I'm here. And you're going to go on for the whole rest of your life. I remember one day Bob Proctor said, most people live their lives tiptoeing through their life, hoping to make it safely to the end. Is that you? If you're living in your comfort zone, if you're afraid to leave your comfort zone, that might be you. So what I'm proposing to you is I need to step out of my comfort zone to create something that's really important to me in my life. And I'm going to do that. I, I've started doing it. I could be doing it much more higher powered than I'm doing it. I'm doing it little mini steps at a time. But if I jump in, it's kind of like, you know, when you go swimming and you put your toe in the water and it's like, I'm very cold. So you put your foot in the water and then maybe your leg in the water. Or you can jump right in and you'll be cold for a couple seconds and then you're fine. Jumping in and leaving that comfort zone, that takes real belief. It takes real trust in you, in yourself. There's not a person anywhere outside of you who can tell you what's best for you. And you will only know when you tune into not that ego mind up in your head, when you tune into your heart. And remember, your heart is what connects to the universe. It speaks the language of the universe. So when you ask for something, that's how you get to manifest it, when you come from your heart. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm Ellie Bierman, and this is Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and mind. Remember that you can take advantage of the Audible offer that comes through my link. You can go in there, choose the audio book of your choice. I'm not going to give you one of the books from there because I'm giving you my special what you don't know, you don't know offer. But you have a whole 30 days to look around. It's a free trial. There's so much to see in there. Look until you find the book you want. And then you get to download that. And if you decide to keep going after 30 days, which I recommend because I've been doing it for years. That's why I have such a big library. That's why you got so many recommendations from me from my big library. And you can always cancel it. And even if you do, you get to keep your audio book. The link to do that is in the show notes. Remember to join our Facebook group. Go in there. You'll find a whole bunch of extras that are part of the main show here. And you can ask questions. Make a new friend. I see as the podcast is growing, the Facebook group is growing. And I invite you to join us in supporting us so that I can continue to bring the show to you, to find opportunities for you, and also to meet you on a live call once every month because everybody is supporting us. That's what you get to do. Remember to go to our page, our show page where you get to watch or listen to any of the more than 100 episodes that we've done. Have you ever seen the show where one of my guests actually caused it to start raining on me? If you haven't, we're looking for that. 
I was indoors at night, no leaking roof or ceiling, and it was raining on me. I interviewed some pretty extraordinary people. Again, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your sharing. Tell two friends about this so that we can grow. And the best way to do that is by word of mouth. You tell someone who tells someone who tells someone. And happily, we are growing and we're getting a whole lot more downloads, both the audio and the video every week. I thank you for making that possible. And do go down below either the video or send me a message on the, if you listen to it as a podcast, on a podcast player, tell me what you're going to do to take that very first step in a new direction out exiting your comfort zone. And by doing that, you'll get to enjoy that capital I N, capital J O Y. Every moment, I guarantee it. And I will see you here.